sold out shows, nigga might have to go I went on the road, really Moved from carry and carried the load, really Flow filthy, we wasn't popping in No really, strode really fast on the gas Like I know titty Boy, I be stoned in my zone, really And my boys that came along with me May David Thompson on Humbo It's so plenty, they left so quickly I'm still here, never home, really Gone, really, when these hoes hit me I be in bad style Snow biggie, like snow chilly and, like, uh, Long, like, really you feel me I'm motivated to like, go into my yeah, goals it's a and look. Don't exactly. Me all right, so we are right here with Izzy. She's going to join us on the Queenie Network and talk about all things creative. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself for us. Um, hi, my name is Izzy. Um, I am 25 years old and I'm a makeup artist based in Louisville, Kentucky. Ooh, what's your sign? I never asked. I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus. When's your birthday? Are you April um, May 12th. or May? May 12th? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's stubborn, guys. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh. And, and I'm a Leo rising, so I feel like I'm, like, super expressive and, like, mm -hmm. fiery. Mm -hmm. But I love my, like, literally decorating and curating my space is, like, essential to me. Your space <laughs> reflects that. Yes. I'm, I see all the details, because I'm yeah. really into details. Yeah. Like, your chest over there. Yeah. I was like, you, that. Think, you think it's an end table, but no, nope, nope. it's something cute. It's a gem. This yeah. stone right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so let's get into a little bit of background. Are you from Louisville? I'm from actually just across the river in southern Indiana. Okay. But I grew up, I mean, around Louisville. I mean, this is where all the action is anyway. Okay. Uh, I've only lived in Louisville for about two years. Um but I felt even before then, I was active in the creative scene in Louisville. Okay. Um, this is where, you know, I'd work. This is where I'd play. You yes. Know? So, so tell me about your creativity. What are you into other than makeup? Right. We see your eyeshadow done beautifully right. today. Um, tell, me, tell me a little bit more and like how you got into the arts. So um, I always say if it's creative, I like to do it. Um, whether that's, I mean, even in my hobbies, like how I spend my free time, like, embroidery, I do some embroidery, I do calligraphy, I draw, um, I love editing images. I'm not a photographer by any means, but um, I love the visual, like visual arts. If it's something I can get my hands into, something I can make, I love baking even, like anything creative, I like to get into it. Yes, um, and then you graduated from Indiana University. What did you study? Yes, I actually studied psychology and sociology. Wow, um, okay. Yeah, and I and it's so funny. Um, all throughout my undergrad, uh, I would show up to class with makeup like this, or even crazier. Um, I remember showing up to class with like blue eyebrows, and that was just to That's you know go you. study. <laughs> but everyone was like, "Why don't you do makeup?" And I was like, "I don't know. Like, it's just for me. Like, I don't know. I didn't want it to. I didn't want to like taint it, kind right, of. Right, because it was like make a fun it, thing. Unless make it less personal. I was right. like afraid of that." Um, but then I ended up getting a job at Mac. Um, I kind of landed it I, actually all of a sudden. I wasn't really like trying for that. And I just ended up going in a blind one day and had like a little baby portfolio. that was mostly just me. <laughs> um, but I had like a, some friends I had done and I got hired not on the spot. I did have to go through some interview process, but they loved me immediately. Um, and then from there, like that was when I really started seeing myself as an artist because from years past, like it was like art was a hobby, not, mm -hmm. not who I was. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, it felt like I could actually focus on that. So I ended up graduating. Um, and I still feel like I utilize everything that I learned, um, with people and having a people first mindset approach towards makeup rather yes. than like a sales or a beauty or whatever BS. Um, being more about the people and the community and how people, what makeup means to them. Yeah, that reflects um, in your portfolio, like we were talking about earlier. Um, as I'm going through your work, I see a lot of versatility. Your clientele is so um, diverse. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's important in the makeup industry specifically, and then just the creative industry as well? Even even in the diversity, just as far as the makeup looks mm -hmm. themselves is important to me because I don't I don't ever want to say I can't do something. Um, and you know, beauty makeup being like less of what I'm wearing, more of what you're wearing. <laughs> beauty makeup, you know, like light makeup, natural makeup. Um, speaks more to people and like that gets people in the door. Um, more expressive makeup, more editorial avant-garde makeup is what 
I feel like it's like more fashion-esque, but it, it, it's also more expressive and more dependent on um, like color lines, just more expressive just right. overall. I do acknowledge that for how many, how many years makeup wasn't even really available to people of color, <laughs> like getting the proper makeup, right? having someone going into a counter and someone that looked like me and not knowing if they could do their makeup or not. Mm -hmm. So me being able to demonstrate that that's not a problem for me, you know what I mean? If there's yeah. limitations like, oh, even age, like right. if you're like, uh, like I can't really work with mature skin. Right. Like, yeah, you know, the, exactly. Right. So to me, that takes away from like the makeup artistry and that's just like people picking and choosing. And I just want to always demonstrate that in my work. Like people know and they trust that they could come to me and I could do a beauty makeup look, an yeah. editorial makeup look on any complexion, any age, any gender, yeah, any background, anything. That's so important. And yeah. not only, I think, in the beauty industry, but just in the world. You have um, a degree in sociology, mm -hmm. so you understand how important it is for inclusivity in totally. society. Absolutely. So I love that you're able to do that with your skill and art and then it'll rub off on people and then you know, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll fix the world one person at a time. Right. Um, so why do you think right now in the world being pretty much locked down, we're shut down for this mm -hmm. pandemic and it's been like that, I mean, it's gonna be like a year in a few months that it's happened. How okay. have you been able to continuously express yourself with art? How is it getting you through this, these hard times? Um, I, like I said earlier, um, Bell Hook's quote, healing is an act of communion. Um, and I just feel like we are all in this process of healing. Um, we, we need and rely on art. And I've, one thing that I've done is even just making things and even if I don't post it or whatever else, it right. doesn't necessarily negate its worth. Um, so it's just for you. To, yeah, exactly. Right. So, so keeping like my personal, um, my personal like hobby-esque creations. And then um, during the summertime, I was able to like still be on set a little like outdoors, like the, sh the music video shoot I was talking about mm -hmm. with B-Sim for his song, uh, Beyonce's Letter. Um, that was something where we were able to be outdoors and like still create in a safe in a safe way mm -hmm. with other people, but um, it has to it has totally limited um, opportunities as it has for any creative yeah, right now. Absolutely. Um, but kind of still, I don't know, being more intentional about those times that you can. Right, and it challenges um, us a little bit. It does. To be, to be even more creative. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we don't have the um, accessibility that we usually have, mm -hmm. but we still have to let that out. Right. Gotta... I would say you can always complain about like a lack of resources, but um, resourcefulness is like within you. So if you can utilize resourcefulness and make something shake, you know, make something Yes, like, exactly. Um, there's been a million times I'm on set and we don't have something, we don't have a, a place to hang clothes or something and having to literally make something make something just, yeah make something make on shifts. the spot yeah exactly so yeah. if there's something in my kit that i need and i'm like uh i don't really have the exact eyeliner color i wanted um i force myself to basically mix things mix pigments um use color theory yes. use all the tools that use i have that in my wheel. brain to make use it happen that, yeah. i could sit and complain all day like man and make up so expensive if only i could like buy this for my kit or buy that for my kit it's like being able to utilize like what you have, utilizing what I have. And um, that also helped me grow as an artist early on when I didn't have a very big makeup kit. Mm -hmm. When I would when I would show up to set and feel kind of confused because I was like, I don't know if I have everything I need. Being yeah. able to make make, make things it work, work. Yeah. make it work for That's you. That's a skill in itself. Totally. Yes. So we're at the top of the new year. Mm -hmm. As you're looking back the past couple months, I know you mentioned you were on set for a video mm -hmm. um, that was in honor of Breonna Taylor, mm -hmm. right? Is that probably like the most iconic project you've worked on during quarantine or what are some other I, really I cool would say projects? I would say that's probably the biggest one. Mm -hmm. It was actually one of the biggest like projects overall that I was involved in. Nice. And what was, was the name of it? Um, so the music video is called Beyonce's Letter. Okay. Um, he's like, I, I think one of the, li the lines is, I don't want to totally must quote this <laughs> um, but I wish you were here to hear to read the letter that Beyonce wrote oh so okay. so it was, it was kind of to to Brianna to her family and it was also to the city mm -hmm. of Louisville 
Um, that was probably the most iconic project I would say I worked on. Um, so the last question I have for you is, what is your favorite part about being a creative? Uh, community, I would say easily. Um, having people, like, I, I might not be able to, to hem this, but I know someone that can hem this gown or yeah. pants or whatever. My own expression, my own social connections, um, and yeah, yeah, I would say that's probably the biggest thing for me as a creative. Nice. Well, thank you so much for stopping and chatting with us. Um, do you have any last words? Would you want people to remember you when they turn this off? They're gonna be like, oh, Izzy, yeah, her, blank. <laughs> Art is what you make it, like, it's about, and that's, and that's so literal and also metaphorical of a sentiment. Like, it's, it's more about, I say, your vulnerability than it is about perfection. Um, I've been trying to, an affirmation that I've actually been holding on to lately is done is better than perfect. Because, you know, with an art project, like, I could sit in that mirror forever and keep adding something to this look or adjusting it or whatever. Right. If I'm on set, I could sit and fix it. But, like making peace with, okay, done is better than perfect. Like, right. you know, like um, being able to sit with that and acknowledge that as, as long as I'm creating, as long as I'm being vulnerable, as long as I'm sharing with others and connecting with others, that's what matters. It's not about perfection, which is definitely an affirmation I need as a yes. major perfectionist. I'm from an area where we get Grammy nominated. I'm from an area you see your family house is rated saying, wealth we dream of to bring the self-esteem up. You kneeling down and pray your girl just want that wear that real love, but you can't afford it. So you ask what's more important, get some contraband imported for some head.